Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Chromium on Cos OS using Bieber Cos OS. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over home labs, installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse, so go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what will be installed today, uh, Chasm Web Chromium. Uh, Chasm Workspaces is a Docker container streaming platform for delivering browser-based access to desktops and applications and web services. Uh, you'll be able to use uh, the Chromium browser uh, in a inside your web browser that's running on Casa OS. Um, here's what it looks like. It looks like Chromium. And then uh, the environment variables are launch URL, app args, and chasm restricted files user. Um, so that's what will be installed today. So now I'm starting on Big Bear Casa OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And um, this is a third-party app store for Cos OS that's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it has quite a few apps nowadays. And I also did a video on how to install Big Bear Cos OS on Cos OS, but I'm going to be going over in this video as well. Um, the custom app store is only supported on Cos OS version 0.4.4 or newer. So I'm going to scroll up to App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my Cos OS and get it set up. So now I'm going to start on my Cos OS. I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to go to More Apps over here. Uh, uh, text to Input pops out. I'm going to paste in the uh, URL that we copied over in Big Bear Cos OS. Then I'm going to press Add. Now we have 168 apps. So um, now if you want to see it over in the categories, you have to refresh the browser. And then um, go, go back in here, and you can now see Big Bear Cost OS right here. So you can click it, and now you can see all the apps that are available for uh, install from Big Bear Cost OS. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go up to search right here. I'm going to uh, type in uh, Chromium. Then I'm going to go to it. And then um, I'm going to go to Docker and Pose right here. So the Cos OS app name is Big Bear Chromium. I'm gonna set services, and the first service underneath the services is called Chromium. And then the container name is gonna be called Big Bear Chromium, so it doesn't have a random name generated for the Docker container. And then the image is coming off of Docker by default uh, because there's no year before this. Chasm Web Chromium is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. So. Uh, the ports are 6902. This is on the host side. And then 6901 is on the container side. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. And environment variables. So the VNC password to log into the UI is Casa OS. And then launch URL to launch the first tab will be community.bibrotechworld.com. And then the allocated... Uh, uh, shared memory is 512 megabytes. And then I'm going to set some XCOS OS information to explain the environment variables. Um, so the XCOS OS information to explain uh, the app on the App Store, the architectures of the Docker image that it accepts is AMD64 and ARM64, the supported uh, CPU architectures. And then the, uh, the main service is Chromium right here. And then a description, the tagline, the developer of the Docker image, and then the author of the Docker Impose, the icon, the thumbnail, the title, the category, so you can easily find all the Big Recost OS apps inside of the App Store. And then the port map is 6902, and that rhymes with the host port of 6902 over here. So uh, the scheme is set to HTTPS, and then it's tips down here, and this is before install, and it's going to show you the username. 
that we're going to need. So we're going to need the username of chasm underscore user, and then we're going to need to type in the cost OS uh, VNC password. So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down in the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to the App Store, and then I'm going to search for Chrome. So now I'm going to see Chromium right here, so I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to install, and it's going to come up with that tip that I showed you in the Docker Compose. So the username is th th this right here. So I'm going to say next steps. So what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, and getting it up with Docker Compose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. So this can take a little bit to install. So now we got it up and running, and it's good to go. So now I'm going to go over the app settings. Um, so if you go up these top vertical dots, you can open in the web UI. You can set some tips, and the tips are already here for the username. But you can come down here and edit, and you can add more to it. It's like a notepad. And then you can save. And then now you can go to settings, and you can change some things. Press the save button. And you can also go up to terminal logs and go into the container. You can see the logs, great for debugging. And then you can export your Docker Compose. You can exit out of there. And you can check for updates for the current tag. And then you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm going to go into the UI. So you can open it from here, or you can open it from here. So now I'm going to go into it. Now we're going to put our username in. And then we're going to put our password, which is Casa OS. And then I'm going to sign in. So now you can see it did start with a, uh, a first tab. So Big Bear Community. And um, you can expand the br browser out. So now you can see that you can go to a different tab. You can go to Google. And there we go. We're on Google. So you can have settings over here. So drag a viewport, keys, clipboard, full screen, game cursor mode. And then here's the settings. So keyboard shortcut, stream quality, advanced. You can also disconnect from the VNC completely. And then that, there we go. We're, we're disconnected. We can connect back up by click, uh, clicking the connect. And um, then um, it, it, you can just start new tabs. You can also go over here and you can go into settings. There we go. And then you can go to about Chromium. So that's how to get Chromium working on Cos OS. So I just went over step by step on getting Chromium working on Cos OS using Bibber Cos OS third party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or any community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.